I can't believe what I've just done. I've done two really, ter well, not terrific, but pretty good videos uh, on my two McAfee guitars, um, which were made in the 50s um, by uh, the, Mac uh, the McAfee company using a product uh, specially designed for them by Dow Chemicals called, called Dow Styrene. It's a form of plastic. The guitars internally have timber bracing, just like standard guitars, has a neck through body construction with a tilt adjustment available through this hole at the bottom. Fretboard is so easy to use um, and they're almost wear proof because unlike a wooden guitar, if you should scratch one of these, it doesn't go through to the timber, bits of paint don't flake off, the finish is the finish is the finish, and it goes right through. Uh, with the, this particular instrument, even though it's 60 years old, it has been played, and you may be able to see just here, and at the front, this crack that runs across, and then up here. At some stage, before I purchased the guitar, this has either been dropped or somebody's had the headstock off to do a repair, uh, you know, or pulled it apart, um, and uh, it's been then put back together again, and I don't know what they used to fix it or glue it, but it hasn't budged in the 15 years that I've had these, and I've played them quite a lot. Interesting thing about playing these guitars is they show little or no plectrum wear. It's very hard to see, and you've really got to get the light right before you will see it. So the guitar actually stands up pretty well considering this being the flat top I don't know what the purpose of it was uh, why he made a, a flat top and an arch top. I have the arch top here I'll show you in a moment but um, uh, maybe it was to do with different styles of music to be played on them. I find this so easy to play. I'm a lousy player these days. Once upon a time I was not a lousy player, but I'm old and tired. Or something. stays in tune all the way up. It's delightful to hold. Um, I, I don't know what the word is, ergonomic perhaps, but uh, and light. Uh, I guess it wouldn't weigh much more than a couple of pounds. So f if you want to sit down and rehearse uh, for hours and hours and hours, I'm not going to wear you out. Plus, they're unique. They're not building them anymore, uh, and they've now become quite a cult item. Um, 15 years ago you could pick these up seriously cheaply if you could find them they, they weren't I, I think people tend to hang on to them um, for example Jeff Beck has still got his and wouldn't part with it for quits um, uh, lead guitarist with Led Zepp uh, has one uh, whose name escapes me which is disgraceful and uh, Keith Richards also thinks they're pretty cool guitars. They all say they're very cute, terrific to practice on, etc, etc, etc. Jeff Beck's even got a YouTube clip featuring one of these. Um, so this being the, the flat top G30. Yeah, that's a great little guitar. There's no lifting uh, of the body anywhere. Uh, no scratches on the side of the guitar. Um, and the front looks pretty exy for a 60-year-old guitar. They could both definitely 
do with new strings, I'm ashamed to say, because I haven't changed the string, strings in some while. It might be the equivalent of playing a Telstra telephone cable. So this is the arch top. You can see it's got an arch top construction, slightly different um, uh, bridge and base, uh, you know, a string plate at the bottom there. Um, but essentially uh, the same design and size and so on and so forth. Pretty cool headstock, like a fairy, the little crown and everything. And um, again, just a nice guitar to play. Um, m my playing is pretty atrocious. <laughs> This one is probably the same idiot or his cousin playing it with the belts on, but um, doesn't affect the tone of the guitar or the playability or in fact the desirability. I can't believe how much these are fetching in the States. Uh, these two are for sale. The reason I'm doing this video is I said almost all of this stuff on the last attempt I made. I kept saying that the damn things were made in Chicago. They were made in Brooklyn, in New York, in a, in a purpose-built factory um, built by Dow Styrene and, and McAfee to build these instruments. They weren't popular because uh, guitarists being guitarists figured if it wasn't wood, it wasn't a real guitar. However, uh, tragic error. They're, they're really excellent little instruments. I reckon in certain instances you could take these out on stage um, uh, to show your, uh, the people coming to see you um, a legendary guitar made in the 50s by Mario Ferry. He also made plastic ukuleles of which he managed to sell 4 million, would you believe? Um, the guitars didn't take off as well. And now they're very hard to find and eminently desirable. So there they are. Ferry G30, Ferry G40. Thanks for watching, and I hope that was intelligible. <laughs> Bye for now. When I found my mouse, that is. <laughs>